So this is a manual for market debt life dome from bestorderflow.com. The orders on the footprint that we can see over here, it is aggressive market executions. So it is aggressive participants by market orders, level one data. We see it right here in the real life, what happenings inside of their candles. But when we take a look at the level two data in the market depth, we are seeing uh, intentions for the future for the participants, because these uh, limited orders place it ahead of the time in expectation that price will come and trigger those waiting orders sitting here and over here. So this is a level two data limit orders. And the buy limit orders shown in green place it below the current price in expectation that price goes down one time and execute those limit orders sitting below the price. And the same relates to the sell limit orders. Sell limit orders sitting and waiting it's time when price will approach them from the bottom and trigger those limit orders. So those orders, limit orders, it's a sleeping, I call them sleeping limit orders because they're sitting and simply wait until the price come and trigger them. Here's how we set up in properties a histogram and the totals. The number of levels per side is selected as 300. That means that there is a 300 levels this direction and this direction. Okay, both directions. There's a 300 levels we decide to show. Sometimes we do it like 400 levels because we want to consider where the price may go in the future. What levels like this one or like this one or this one it may attract it to. The totals show us what goes immediately near the price line totals 10 levels and sometimes I do 20 levels depending on the instrument that you are trading you decide how many levels you would like to total in and show over here in the upper side of that you will see Delta this is red Delta this is a green Delta and this on the lower side of this total it is the volume green volume and the red volume we can select this indicator to display a different information for us. We can, in histogram type, we can select all, like on this image, volume delta over here, um, delta, and it's display the delta only, or volume, volume only. And notice the difference because this histogram includes all types of and delta and the volume and the maximum ever achieved okay in gray and that gray area over here is the maximum volume ever being on this level recently so the gray area is a maximum volume reached at that price the later in time this gray area was removed in a non-aggressive way or it was consumed or it was removed by some way but not as a pulling or a stocking. By having the gray area present on the histogram we still know the total and remaining amount of value at that very price. Let's see what the color codes mean for the histogram and then for the totals. First for the histogram the dull red it is the sale volume the bright red it is a new added sale delta so this is new added bright in bright red the same for the greens this is the buy volume and the bright green it is a new added buy delta just recently added over here so orders in black it's order that is removed on both sides so these orders and these orders and uh, over here as well. 
Now let's take a look at the color codes for the totals. So the red bright is a delta to cell that's added new. It's newly added delta to cell. The bright green means the delta to buy newly added delta to buy but at that time on this very chart in totals there's a known at the moment so this is the delta being removed nearby price and that's what it shows over here the delta to buy is being removed now on the lower part of the total this color represents the volume to buy and this color represents the a volume to sell and according to our settings right now we have a 10 levels in total for new delta and 10 levels for uh, totals in volume the most important for us is to see what's going on nearby the price line okay nearby the price line over here on the total we can see that in a very easy way because it's calculate 10 or 20 levels here and over here and give you a summary what's going on so the histogram is detailed view what's going on nearby the price and it gives us understanding by each level that is being added or being removed removed like over here but the totals give us presentation what's going on over here as a summary for 10 levels it makes our decision making process faster and easier and much quicker